In this group of videos, we're going to go through the different parts of the job generator section of the Slingshot website. Uh, just know that with website development, the buttons, locations, names, anything like that, they could possibly change in the future. So right now we're just covering it as it is today. To get to the job generator section of the website, you're going to first go to the manage dropdown and then go to job generator. In this video, we're going to go over the grower farm field and mix managers. You can use these to make any changes or to add new grower farm field or mixes to your company. So to get to these, we're just going to go up to the top left to our menu. and We can start with our grower farm field manager. Now here we can see all the different growers under our company. Uh, you see that one of these is a little bit different. The growers that have the little arrow to the right of them. These actually you can see at a glance that they have farms and fields underneath them. So if I were to click on one here, you can see I have a couple different farms underneath uh, this grower. And then there's a field underneath that farm. This one here is just a grower. So there's no farms or fields underneath this one. Now we can edit the details of growers or farms or fields. We can completely delete them or we can actually add additional farms and fields underneath. Now, just be aware that if you make any changes on this or the same thing with the mix manager, it's only going to affect different jobs moving forward. It's not going to make any changes to pre-existing jobs. So let's say I made some growers or I made some mixes that weren't quite right, and then I dispatched them, and then I realized, oh no, I have to make a change to them. I'm not going to be able to make any changes to jobs that I've already dispatched. So this is just moving forward. So just to go into the mix manager so you can see what that looks like. Here we have all of the different names of our mixes. We have our carrier information. And then we can see the different ingredients that were added underneath that mix. So here we have the different check boxes. We can uh, select multiple ones if we want. We want to delete more than one. And then we have a pencil icon over on the right so we can edit it. So if I wanted to make this mix, I wanted to change it from a rate to a quantity, for example. Or if I wanted to add ingredients or add a carrier, uh, we have the option to do that. And then after you make any changes, just be sure to save them. Uh, I'm not going to make any changes to this one, so I'm just going to cancel it. Now, that's a pretty short one, but that covers everything you need to know about the grower farm field and mix managers.